What's up, guys? At least you talk to in here. I've been making a video for uh, Kylie's contest, who's uh, YouTube is knives and stuff. He's doing a uh, sharpening contest, and uh, decided to show it. So, purpose of the video is to show your face. Hi, guys. Let me shave. I don't want to get shit, but he wants to see all my sharpening stuff and the knives. So, I'm gonna point down this little laptop screen, back up my computer a little bit, and hopefully, we can get all this crap in viewing. Yeah, so I'm just doing this on my bed. So, Kylie, this is the knife. This is a uh, Spyderco Santa Fonte 3. Alright, knife. I really love it. One of my favorite EDC knives. Uh, as I said, got some piece of paper, cardboard. Um, got my sharpening stones. This is a uh, centered wet stone, you know, coarse, fine. We have a Smith's diamond stone. You can get these at Lowe's and whatever. Force fine. Again, then we have two DMT dia sharps, four inches, and a uh, ceramic rod, along with a green leather sharp or sharp with a green compound, and another special sharp I have with a white compound. So <clears throat> that's what I will be using to sharpen my knife. Make sure I get this cardboard in here. But all right, so. I've been using my knife quite a bit lately, so I'm going to show how sharp it is at the moment. So, get to it. You can see, quite sharp. So, as you said, this part of this piece of paper, you do this, go on. So now, we're going to uh, damage the edge. This is the, I don't think you guys will see that too, too well. Course side of the stone. Bro. I really hate doing this, but it has to be done. So now we're gonna show that it is complete and other trash. for the paper. So, pick up this paper. So, now we're going to start sharpening. I'm going to use this stone, the coarse side of the uh, regular whetstone, and I'm going to get to it. I don't know that much to say about this. I'm just keeping a pretty good angle. I usually keep on the Santa Fonte 3. Obviously, using this very rough stone to uh, reestablish an edge because I pretty much just flattened it. It's pretty much non existing until I started on the stone. So, this pretty much building the V grind edge once again. I'm not even going to bother using the fine side of the stone because it's only about 80 grit finer. So, whenever I have established that I have a rough edge, I will then be switching over to my Smith's coarse side of the stone. Go ahead and wipe this on my bandana because doing this will get a bit of steel on your knife and on the stone. And I do have a fairly good, decent edge, and work that tip a little bit more. Up here my jeans here, and that's good. So as I said, we're gonna move on to the Smith's core side stone. The same side was just ruined my knife. And then again, just keep that low angle, which I prefer on my sense of the three as I stated earlier. And just keep going back and forth. Do a couple more passes here. On that bandana, and we're gonna the edge. So 
little rough. Make sure my computer doesn't die here. Established a pretty decent edge. <clears throat> Start on the fine side of the uh, Smith stone. Yeah, I suck at doing this, guys, but you can see it's fine. Notice I'm being very careful to not just round that tip off of the stone because that could actually round the tip. For those of you who are kind of new to sharpening, I know Kylie doesn't want an instructional video, but I figured why I'm doing this. I might throw in a couple tips. Kylie, I hope you don't mind. <coughs> a little bit more towards that Picasso area at the bottom. It's quite dull. So. Good. So now we're done with this smithstone. Get her right here. Now we're going to start with the the fine DMT die sharp quarant stone. And to all of you who always ask me for sharpening videos, this is pretty much how I sharpen most pocket knives. Now I might need to take on my belt sander once in a while to reprofile an edge or to fix something that is severely damaged that the stone can't do, but for the most part this is what I use. Now on bigger blades I do prefer the convex edge and look like the large choppers and axes. But for most fixed blade knives and pocket knives I do use this method. much longer on this fine stone because the difference in grit of the Smith's fine stone and the DMT fine stone is only about a hundred so I just threw it in as an extra precaution. Come in very nicely. Now we're going to use the basically that extra fine stone. This is around 1200 grit, so it's very fine. Put the nice smooth edge on the knife. Not so much longer here. I know it's probably going to be an extremely long video, but. I'm glad I'm able to do this on a webcam because it would take me hours to upload via video file. So I that on down my pants and very fine. So moving it on to the ceramic rod. Being very careful not to round that tip off the stone or that rod, excuse me. Because if you do this keep on swiping them like that you will have to go and reprofile in the tip so, 
good with that. Now we're going to move it on to the green shop. Actually, I'm going to trip this up the stone. So. Wipe this plate off. Done with the green that right there. Put on to the white. Now this white is right around five thousand grit, five or six thousand, so it's very fine. You can find this at uh, Sears, by the way. And the green Sears Lowe's. <coughs> Paper right here, as I said. Up a little bit. Most part is good. I got a piece of uh, cardboard here. I believe Tyler wanted a demonstration of this as well. Then we'll hold this. It's actually really thick cardboard, by the way. So Kylie, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to uh, enter into this uh, contest here. I'm kind of failing my camera. As I said, really appreciate the opportunity to enter in this contest. Even if I don't, man, I'm pretty sure most of my subs be happy that I made a sharpening video. So, really appreciate it. And good luck to everybody entering the contest. And uh, thank you again, Kylie. Really appreciate it, bro. And to my viewers, his video or his channel will be down in the description.